Good morning, my name is Svenja Knappe and I work in the mechanical engineering department. Um, and we build a quant uh, atomic quantum sensors. And um, for all that I'm talking about here, there are magnetic field sensors, so low frequency magnetic field sensors based on laser spectroscopy of atoms. And what that gives us is really, really high performance. So we can measure magnetic fields at five femtotesla per square root of hertz. And so that's good enough that if you put a sensor of that on your head, you will measure the magnetic field of the neural currents, of the, the little currents in your brain create a magnetic field and you can measure it. And those sensors are good enough to do that. So they give us very, very high performance. Um, and so, um, what we're concerned with in the engineering department is how can we engineer those sensors to make them small, sm small size, weight, and power while retaining those very high sensitivities? Um, and how can we get and actually make magnetic field imaging systems out of that? And so they work by having a, sm a small container with a gas of atoms. And then when we shine laser light through that, the gas of atoms can work as a magnetic to optical transducer. So the magnetic field at the location of the atoms will be imprinted on the light field. And so if we measure that, that optical image, we can measure the magnetic field pattern. Um, and so here, actually, I don't think I have a laser pointer, right? Oh, yeah, I do. On the, on the bottom, on the bottom left, you see these little containers that we make. They're based on silicon and glass technologies, and they hold that gas of atoms. And you can see there are a few cubic millimeters in size. Um, and then we can we we work on packaging technologies so that there um, that we can reach those um, low power values and and so we can make them again on silicon glass technologies with suspensions and we integrate them into sensor heads. And what we're really working on is first on schemes how to make them more compact, how to make them more sensitive, um, but also Again, how do we bring them into real-world applications? So on the top left, you can see um, a sensor that has two, um, two of those. It's actually gradiometer, so it measures the magnetic field in two locations. And the size of those um, is like the half of my, my pointer finger, roughly. That's the size of the sensors we're building. Um, and we're integrating the lasers directly on the sensor head. We're also building the control electronics. So, so again, in engineering, we're heavily trying to work to um, to build a full sensor system. And we also have a small startup company called Fieldline that is commercial commercializing these type of sensors. Um, two projects that, that are in the um, kind of aerospace and defense field is one is to um, build sensors that will go on CubeSats. That's a project led by Bob Marshall in the aerospace department. Um, and they're trying to measure or map the magnetic field if there's for navigation um, purposes. So these magnetic sensors um, are trying to aid GPS denied navigation. So you're trying to navigate by, by magnetic field maps. And so these sensors are sensitive enough um, that 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 could be that they could serve as such. And so in this project we're trying to engineer the sensor that it can um, that it can go on a CubeSat. Um, a second project that's led by Vlaslav Gurganov, also in the mechanical engineering department, and that is to use these sensors as receivers for ultra-low field for, uh, communications. So if you, um, magnetic fields at low frequencies, the good thing is they, they, tra they travel through very dense media easily. They travel through rock, they travel through water um, with very low attenuation and distortion. And so you can you can communicate or also image through very dense media. And but if you want to make a receiver at those low frequencies, you usually need they need to be very large. But by using the same technology, we can make very compact, uh, very sensitive receivers for ultra low frequency um, magnetic communications. Um, we work in magnetic sensing really from all the way from kilometers down to about 10 micron. Um, so I talked about at, at the large scales um, trying to put these magnetometers on, on CubeSats for magnetic surveys or magnetic navigation. We're also working on putting them on unmanned vehicles, so either drones or, or underwater vehicles, um, mostly for surveillance type purposes. So again, you're trying to map magnetic anomalies um, in that. 
um, we work on more industrial applications of non-destructive testing. Um, so you're trying to um, find integrity of materials. Um, we are working in the biomedical field very heavily where we're actually trying to build brain imagers based on that technology of putting those sensors around your head and imaging the brains um, or also the magnetic field of the heart. Um, and then we can go with the same technology, we can scale it down all the way into the, to the 100 micron, 10 micron level um, for magnetic mi microscopy. And so um, what, we're, what we're working on is a, a sensor technology that is scalable um, in that range where we focus on magnetic field imaging, magnetic field detection based on those sensors. And, and again, we're trying to engineer them um, so that they can work in those applications and we're working with people in those, that are experts in those applications to tailor them for that. That's all I want to say. Thank you.